Hello, my lovely Sagittarians. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'll be doing your ex spread love reading today. Um, this could be your ex or just someone from the past or just someone you're heavily thinking about, but it's usually either a past um, partner or, um, yeah, someone from the past that you tried to date that didn't work out, you know, what have you kind of thing. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading it will not apply to everyone I wish I could do it but I can't if you would like me to pick up on your personal energy um, please email me my email is in the box below I'll give you all the information on personal readings it's also on the community tab my website and please check me out on patreon um, keep in mind that we're dealing with energy it's fluid so it could be vice versa if I say you and it's not you it's them just take it where it fits um, and anything that doesn't resonate with you, just throw it out. Just take on the little bits and pieces that, excuse me, that are your story. Because um, I'm reading for a lot of people, so I just want you to keep that in mind. That it probably won't resonate with every single one of you. Anyways, um, I was going to say something. And now my mind is just, whoop. <laughs> um, Thank you guys for all your well wishes and everything. Anyone who messaged me or commented um, on me feeling better, I have been extremely sick. I don't know if I have bronchitis or walk-in pneumonia or whatever, but I've been coughing and sleeping and coughing and coughing and coughing. So be prepared because I'm probably going to cough during this. Um, I did an albuterol treatment just before I sat down, so hopefully we're good there. <laughs> Because I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. That's all I'm going to say. Alright, going to light my candle because I forgot to do it. Okay. Anywho. So, with these, I've been, like, getting songs on shuffle. And <laughs> the song that I got for you guys, um, or whatever this relationship, situationship is, um, was Jessica Simpson with you. Brought us back to the 90s, baby. Um, <laughs> I used to love her when I was younger but anyways I haven't heard any like 90 songs in forever but basically that song is about how like you you can be yourself with this person you feel at home with whoever this is like it's almost like in every other relationship whether it was good bad or whatever you always I don't know you felt more comfortable with whoever this person is um like you can just be goofy you can be silly you can have fun and have your weird sense of humor and quirks and all that stuff come out and this person still loves you or that's how you feel about them um you just feel at home with this person I feel very um I'm just I'm calm but I feel like at peace so yeah it's, it's like family this person is family to you whether they're near or far that's what I feel um so with the overall energy oh fuck I'm gonna cough <coughs> uh, I coughed all through Aquarius's reading I feel so bad anyways um we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and vis visualizations help bring you two together and then let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So with that at home feeling and you feel like you can just be yourself, no matter how goofy and weird you are, um, this person just understands you and you have this divine connection with them. And you know that, they're mo that this connection is more than just the physical. It's more, it's beyond... It's beyond the 3D, basically. And either one of you or both of you have this pull towards each other. Like, you know that there's, um, that you're supposed to be together, basically. Whether one of you's in denial and one of you probably is, because this wouldn't be popping up if, if you were happily together. I feel like you both feel the same things. You both feel the same way, basically. But one of you is like kind of scared of the connection because it's intense. It's unlike anything that they've ever experienced before. Like, how could someone love me this much? How could somebody want me this much? How can I want someone this much? Like, you know what I mean? It's just very intense. 
and then would let your friends help you. I feel like either you or this person or both of you are talking to either your own personal friends, like best friends or whatever, whether they're related to you or not, or you're trying to communicate with this person's friends um, to kind of see where they're at, to see, like test the water to see if you can uh, reconnect with whoever this is. Um, yeah, I feel like you're getting, you're seeking advice, like, should I wait or should I let it go? Um, for some of you, this person that you're pining over could be in a different relationship and you're waiting for it to end. For others of you, you just don't know. Um, you want to know. And you might be asking friends, mutual friends, like, hey, is so-and-so still dating so-and-so? Or are they single? Or do they talk about me? Like, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's what I feel with the overall energy. There's definitely, I just heard mirroring. So I feel like whatever you're doing and thinking, this person's probably doing the same thing. Um, might be, you know, in their own way. But yeah, you both are definitely connected still. Even if you're not with this person, even if you're not physically around them and you don't see them anymore, there's still a very strong connection here. And this could be somebody that you've never even dated before, um, like a friend that you want to date or that they want, like you guys are friends and they wanted to date you and either you were like, no, I'm not the right time or place or vice versa. One of you felt that way. I'm sorry. I'm wicked jittery now. That fucking albuterol, man, makes you feel like you had like coffee out the ass. All right. Maybe this person gives you the jitters, the butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> the mutual energy between you and this past person. Oh, where's the Ten of Cups? That's so cute. Well, what did I say? It's like, there's a bond here. Um, some of you could have children with this person. Like you could have been in a long-standing commitment and it kind of fell through the cracks. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't loud. I'm trying to cover my microphone when I do that, but... Um, yeah, some of you could have been in a high level commitment with this person and it just kind of went blah, but, and that happens a lot with like twin flame journeys, soulmate things because relationships, because, um, we have lessons to learn. So if you haven't learned the lessons you need to, before you come together, you know, things are going to fall apart so you can learn your lessons and come back together kind of thing. Um, and if you were never with this person, you both know that there are strong emotional ties to each other. You know that you would be emotionally fulfilled with this person and they know that they would be fulfilled by you, that they, that you guys could have a family together, especially if you don't. Um, there could be children involved. Either you have children or they do, or you both do. And they're, um, it's like a blended family situation. So some of you could be trying to think on how to, um, combine families. Like there could be, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't want to say psycho, but um, a dramatic baby mama, baby daddy in the picture who, you know, if you start dating and combining families, maybe that person's going to have something to say or they're going to cause problems and either you or the person you're connecting to just doesn't want to deal with that right now. Um, so let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups here? But either way, the Ten of Cups and the Upright is really good. And it means that you both are on the same page emotionally. I'm only taking that one. We have the Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Not necessarily. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't cover the mic. We have multiple signs in our chart. So I don't really like reading off the signs. You know who you're dealing with. Um, I feel like you both are in contemplation mode because the lovers is basically about a decision in love. Um, you could be caught between two people or they could be. So if you're the one who's single Sagittarius and the person you're connecting to, um, and you just know that you're supposed to be together or that things would be really amazing because this person just fills your cup right up. Um, they might have some things that they need to work out and you might know that they're dealing with the past person or that they're dealing with just whatever. I mean, it could be emotional traumas, it could be childhood traumas even, but whatever this person is going through, you know that the decision basically falls. It's in their hands is what I feel. 
So if you're the one that needs to make the decision, they know that they're, they're allowing you the time you need to sort through whatever shit you're sorting through. I don't know if that makes sense, but ultimately there's a decision in love um, on the table. One has not been made between the two of you yet, so it's kind of hanging in the air. And your thoughts about this person is the Page of Cups. This is an emotional offer. It's small. Pages can represent children. Like I said, there could be children involved. So you could be thinking about your children or this person's children. Um, but ultimately, I feel like you're thinking about... I just heard friendship. So I feel like in your mind, you're willing to start off as slow as, as things need to go. So it's like, even though you, you want to dive in head first, you're being, um, rational about, <coughs> about what you say and the steps that you take, because you know that there's a sense of vulnerability here. Like you don't want to be rejected, like open yourself up, be vulnerable and then be rejected. And you don't want this person to feel that way. And you want them to know that you're there for them through this time, even if you're not together, but um, you also don't want to come off too strong. So I feel like you're kind of caught with what do I do? Like, I want to give you distance, but at the same time, I, I want you to know that I support you. So I strongly feel that right now. Can I get one, one more? Can I get clarification for the page of cups, please? What is this? The fool. Yeah, it's offering a new beginning. It's like... You want to start off really slow. You're thinking about a new relationship with this person, whether you dated them before or not. Like I said, this, like with the page here, this could be moving out of the friendship zone or friend zone. So it's like we're friends. We we're building this foundation. Now I want to take it further. I want a new beginning, and I'm willing. I'm willing to help get us there, kind of thing. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. You want to work on this with them. And in their thoughts about you, it's the Two of Wands. Making a decision. So we have decision, decision. I feel like I've had this before. I don't know if it was for Sagittarius or who it was for. But um, they're trying to decide on what to do. But to me, well, usually with the Two of Wands, a decision has already been made. It's just the action hasn't been taken. So... But in this one, for some reason, I feel like because he's holding on to both, both staffs, it's like he's holding on really tightly to one, which represents you. Like he's looking in your direction. Like I, I've made the choice, but I'm having a hard time letting go of this, this other option, this, this past thing or person or situation. So I feel like this person's definitely in contemplation mode. Um even though in their heart of hearts they've already made a decision they still have some shit to clear up and you know this and that's why you want to come in like very slowly and lightheartedly like you're trying not to be over the top or too aggressive or to move too quickly because this person is definitely needs time is what i feel two of wands what is this decision about I feel like there's progress here. So if this person's trying to release past pains, past hurt, no matter what they're trying to release, or it could be even a person or get out of a relationship, um, they're slowly getting there. Definitely. Are you kidding me? Yep. Well, I saw the Ten of Swords, so, and it's in the upright, and that's making a decision to end the past, the betrayal. Because I feel like whatever, whatever's holding them back, whatever they're trying to work through, it hurt them a lot. So if this is a past relationship or past person or even someone they have children with that they were committed to once upon a time and it has nothing to do with you, they were very, very hurt by this. So even though they have these strong emotions towards you and they know what they want and they know that they could be happy with you, they're still trying to release the pain of what happened. Yeah, they haven't fully moved on from you or this other situation, but they do love you. There's love here, definitely. <coughs> so they're trying to sort out their shit, basically. That's heavily on their mind. 
swords are about thoughts and in words and everything too so I feel like that these are like repeating thoughts in their head like shoulda coulda wouldas um the things that people said to them whether no matter who it was like this person's holding on to shit big time and I don't feel like it has anything to do with you I feel like you've actually tried to help this person um how you feel about them is the nine of wands reversed I don't feel like this is giving up I feel like this is letting your guard down um, you want to be open with them. You want to be vulnerable. You want them to be vulnerable with you, too. You feel like they need to let their walls down, that this person has built up. Oh, hold on, the school's calling me. It's probably my daughter. I don't know. They'll probably call back. Anyways, I feel like you, Sagittarius, in your feelings, you want them to be more vulnerable because... You know you're not going to hurt them, but they, I feel like they, they have a, they know that you won't, but at the same time, they're still kind of scared. So definitely approach them slowly if you do approach them. Nine of Wands reverse, please. It was kind of perfect timing when the phone call came in because I got to pause this and cough. <laughs> like, I, it's not being filmed. Yay. Anyways, some of you though, for another, like not for everyone, but there are a few of you out there that I do feel like, what did I say? I knew they call back. I do feel that some of you are feeling that you should re release this relationship because you don't know if you should wait for it or not. Hold on one second. Hello? Whatever, I'm just going to let it go to friggin' voicemail because it keeps, it's like a dead end, a dead line. <sighs> well, that could, I, I, blah, 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 blah. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe everything happens for a reason. And we're talking about this person going through some traumatic shit and trying to get over their, whatever happened to them so that you guys can come together, like letting their guard down and that they have a wall up and shit. <laughs> And then I just got two phone calls gathered from the school. But regardless, there was uh, the line was dead. Like, I couldn't hear them. So it's almost like wanting to reach out but not knowing how. Or not fully being heard or understood. So if you do talk to this person or if you have spoken to them, you might feel like it's falling on deaf ears. Like they're not actually listening to you. That they don't realize how much you actually care about them. Um, because they're so focused on um, their own inner turmoil and whatever's going on around them and the situation that they're in that they can't they can't see beyond that. I just wanted to throw that out there. And we have the two of cups reversed. Yeah, so for some of you, you very well could be contemplating um, removing yourself from the situation and kind of pulling away like giving up in a sense because this person isn't seeing isn't seeing the potential as strongly as you are I feel and that's just the way that you feel like I feel like they do see you in that light that they want this just as much as you do they're just going through some things and there's a little bit of impatience here and it's almost like thinking about apologizing for wanting a new beginning like I'm sorry, I need to move on. I can't sit around and wait for you kind of energy. Um, even though I feel like you will, you'll move on with your life and focus on yourself because ultimately that's what we need to do in these situations. But you're not going to fully let go of this person. I just, I don't feel like you are. I feel like you might say that you will or you're thinking about telling them this, but you haven't because you don't want to jump the gun and ruin something potentially really great you know what I mean so there's a bit of hesitancy on both sides the way that they feel about you oh there's a nine of cups so you're about ready to drop them because you feel like they're just too focused on whatever the hell's going on in their life whether it's a past person because this person very well could be dealing with somebody else from their past whether they're dating them or they just caught up in feelings and trying to like get out of what was what once was 
Um, but ultimately, the way they feel about you is the Nine of Cups. They, you emotionally fulfill them. You make them happy. Um, and they know this. It's almost like you are their dream come true in a sense because they've been around very negative people, people who took advantage of them, used them for this, that, and the other. And here you come and you're just so full of life and you're happy and you're trying to show them their own worth through your eyes like you just accept them for who they are they can be themselves around you which goes back to that song and they love that nine of cups bang man but they're stuck i feel like they want you to see things from their perspective they're hoping that you won't go away and that you realize that they are stuck in some emotional shit right now. That they can't release themselves. Or it's not that they can't. It's they're having a difficult time releasing themselves from whatever emotional shit they're in. Um, I feel like this person doesn't talk about their feelings very well. Okay. With the moon here, I feel like... This person is like a closed book when it comes to the emotional side of them, but they have opened up to you at at least one point during communication. So you know how they're feeling. Um, it's almost like you're the only person that they've ever been this vulnerable with, and it does scare them. So even though you make them happy, they're like, oh my God. If So if Sagittarius makes me feel this great, imagine how shitty it's going to feel when they leave me when they find out I'm not good enough when they see when they start to see me how I see myself this person probably battles with depression so they're terrified because they don't want to get hurt again and the more vulnerable you are the more apt you are to get hurt and they know this because they've already been down that road so they're definitely allowing fear to come between the two of you <clears throat> what your action is going to be towards this person is the six of pentacles reversed that you're going to try to balance the scales I feel like you want to give this person hope is what I just heard so whether I feel like you want to help them I don't know if they'll accept your help or not but I feel like you are contemplating reaching out lightheartedly to see if you can kind of speed up the process and see where they're at um, try to help them balance their emotions to redirect them so that they don't fall down the rabbit hole kind of thing is what you want to do that's the action you want to take yeah you want to bring in the tower you want you want change you want to bring in change you want to help them and whatever situation they're in whatever pain they're in um, with the world. Yeah, you definitely, these are transformations, endings of cycles, you moving on from things. Um, so your action is to, for some of you is to help them end a past situation, past pain, past hurt to break a karmic cycle. Um, you want to be there for them, whether it's in a romantic sense or just in a friendly sense for others of you, you're going to bring in the tower and you're basically going to be like, it's me or or the other person, um, male, female, whatever. So you're either going to shake up their life and make them realize that they've waited around too long, they've clung to the past too long, and that you're moving the fuck on, um, or you're going to reach out and be <coughs> friendly towards them and help them end whatever situation they're in. Their action towards you is the hermit. So yeah, a lot of you might end up bringing in the tower and, and being like, yep, not waiting because they're just, they're in reflection mode. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Um, I just heard Aries too. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, any fixed sign for that matter. But anyways, um, their action is to keep to themselves. This person is... I don't want, they're not full of themselves. They're confused as fuck. It's like they've got feelings for you and a strong pull towards you, but they still have unresolved feelings 
and issues with a past person that they just can't break free from and or a past situation or just could be family issues I mean it's different for everyone but this person's in some turmoil they really are and they're trying this I feel like they're trying to pull away from all situations all people to isolate themselves they're not going out with friends they're not partying they're not doing anything to keep their mind busy they're just sitting here dwelling on the past yeah king of pentacles reverse they're not feeling stable this is the woe is me shit so basically <coughs> their action is to wallow in their self in their um in their misery basically this percy this percy this person i feel like they don't want a pity party because they don't like to express themselves to people but they're in pity party mode like, woe is me. So they're kind of being selfish at this point because they're in so much emotional pain for whatever reason. It's different for everyone. But I feel like this person just, they feel like their their world is crumbling around them. Like, like they can, the only person that they can rely on is themselves. Even though they know you're there for them. It's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's a sad truth and it's a reality that once we get, get sucked into um, self-deprecating thoughts, feelings, actions, whatever, it's very hard to pull yourself out of it. So your desired outcome is the magician and the star reversed. So I feel like you really want to be able to help this person. You really want to be able to manifest this relationship and make things work. It's almost like saying to this person, we have everything we need. Together we could be a powerhouse. Like, this is the thoughts that I feel your internal dialogue, the things you want to say to this person. And for some of you, you have said it to them. Like, I help you, you help me, like kind of thing. We can do this. But you, you're losing faith in it. You're, they're your wish fulfillment. And I feel like a lot of these conversations or thoughts or whatever, they, they happen at night because you're very busy during the day. And this person is just, it's almost like they're so heavily thinking about everything that you just, you tap into it. And sometimes you might feel depressed even because there is a connection here to the point where you're like, why am I upset? Why am I this or thinking of that or whatever? Um, and it's because they're they're thinking of you while they're sitting in their misery. That's only for some of you. But anyways, ultimately you just you want to manifest this relationship. You know that you can make it work, but you're losing faith. You don't feel like it's almost like every day that passes without communication, without progress, you 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 just start losing hope in it. It's like, yeah, okay. At one, at one point, I thought this was what I wanted, but do I really? Like, this is too much work kind of thing. And it's not that you don't want to put the time, energy, and effort into it. It's just you feel like you're not progressing forward, that no matter what you say or do, nothing moves this forward. Then we have the Eight of Wands reversed. Yeah, that's block communication no forward movement so you are losing hope in this it's almost like you're trying to manifest this to come together because you feel this connection and you love this person and they love you too but they're so caught up in their shit that they're they might have even blocked you or they're just not communicating with anybody because when you're in hermit mode you don't talk to to no one um so i feel like that's what's making you lose hope in the situation <laughs> there's definitely no forward movement and then their desired outcome is a seven of cups reverse so they want to have clarity they're trying to make a decision so that's why they're in hermit mode that's why you feel this a bit of a disconnect in in this block and communication and as you're losing faith in this union they're trying really hard to make a decision so they're trying so hard to let go of this wand and move forward because he's holding this wand really tightly and looking in that direction, trying to make a decision. So ultimately, this other person, the person you're connecting to, this past person, 
is trying to figure out things. That's what they want in this situation. They want clarity. They want to know what, what is the right choice? Who is the right choice? Even though in their heart of hearts they know. They're just having a wicked hard time. Exactly. I'm not taking them all, but I did see the star. So yeah, they want their wish fulfillment. It's like... <laughs> They're hoping that you don't lose faith in this situation. They, they, they want to reconnect with you. You make them extremely happy. They know that this is a divine connection. It's just they are so stuck in their fucking head right now. It's not even funny. It's craziness. And then this is the potential outcome. Not what you guys want, but what is potentially going to happen between the two of you. And we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the biggest energy of all so ultimately this person it seems like they're gonna pull their head out of their ass and realize that you're not gonna hurt them that you are not this past person that this is a cycle that's ending that it's going to end the tower is gonna come in and wreck whatever what was and so that you can rebuild or build something new and that's clarified by the Queen of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ultimately, she wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But this is communication with the Four of Swords. So it is safe for you to love. It's like, I feel like this person is going to come in and communicate honestly with you about why they needed to rest, why they're taking so long, what they were contemplating about what they were thinking about what they were doing to reassure you that they weren't just out sleeping with everybody or ignoring you that they were actually processing old wounds and clearing their head and clearing their energy so that they can come towards you because they don't this person has very low self-esteem I can tell you that right now can I get more clarification on it is safe for you to love <laughs> so we have the queen of swords again it's exactly what i said it's commu it's honest communication this person's going to come in yeah they might be a little bit guarded but they're not going to give up they're not at the ten of swords it's like okay i'm going to push through this i need to talk to sagittarius about working on things yeah so they're going to come forward that's really great they i don't know exactly when but i feel like they're they're almost there. They could be the ones that are talking to their friends about you trying to figure out if you've moved on. Like, okay, is Sagittarius still hanging on to me? Do I still have a chance? Did I wallow in myself fucking my misery too long? All right. Advice for Sagittarius is in this situation, please. Oh. Neither one of them flipped. Okay, well, this one did. The Desert Prince. Survival, false promises, reversed. <coughs> well, false promises in the upright would be bad, so hopefully it's good in the reverse, but I'm not sure. Number 19. Um, as a challenger. Don't be fooled by the beauty of the desert prince now, for you're being faced with a mirage. Sometimes you can't see the truth because your thirst for achievement and recognition may blind you to the true nature of your situation. Perhaps, too, circumstances prevent you from being able to see with clarity. Exactly. Look at things from this person's perspective. You might feel like it's over and that they don't want anything to do with you, but they really do. Um, beware when faced with something that seems too perfect miraculous and easy if you think it's too good to be true it is pay attention to false promises at this time don't be swayed by shortcuts and flattery the best way out of this is to accept that every life has a desert period just accept this for now and cross it one step at a time you will be led to green pastures and fresh clean water with divine appropriate timing honestly i feel like this is that other person's the person you're dealing with and connecting to I feel like this is advice for them with the past person. It's like be honest with yourself and 
not all that glitters is gold. So don't, it's, it's like saying this for the past person, like stay away from the past person because there could be a bunch of empty promises there. It's like, it's a cycle that needs to end. Um, so for some of you, with this being the advice for that person, um, they could make the mistake of going back to an ex who hurt them. And this might be when you feel like you need to give up, which is totally fine because whatever's meant to be will be and people will reconnect at, one, at some point. Um, so for some of you, yes, this person might fall for, might fall for this mirage basically for something false um, which will lead them astray from you they'll lead them away from you um, and for others of you this person isn't going to fall for it they'll take the advice and they're just going to go into a heavy contemplation mode and really figure out what they need and what they want and realize who's there for me Sagittarius has been there for me not so and so not this person that person whatever so yeah, I feel like this person is learning some really strong life lessons right now. Um, things that you've probably already gone through and dealt with. So that's what I have for you, my dears. If you liked it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have time to pick up on your energy. Um, yeah, I love hearing from you guys. And I hope everyone is well and not dealing with the same cold that I am. Because this shit sucks ass, man. <coughs> but yeah if you'd like a personal reading hit me up i'll give you all that information i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye